In today's AI tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to download and install the Sad Talker program so you can make something like this right here. 你可以成功共汽车去车站. Now in order to do this, we will need stable diffusion installed on your PC and I will make sure to include how to install that. But if you already have it installed, I'll have a timestamp in the description which you can skip ahead and go to just the Sad Talker installation part. But if you're completely new to the channel don't have stable diffusion or anything like that i'll make sure to go through all of that in the beginning of this video all i ask if you guys go down and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel as i post daily ai content that's all i ask in return is for a nice big subscribe and if you ever have any issues throughout this tutorial make sure to visit my discord channel where there's a bunch of like-minded ai community members who may be able to help you out in your troubles with that out of the way let's head over to the pc setup and get started on this tutorial Alrighty, so let's get Get started with the first thing that you need to download and that is going to be git for windows i'll have the link down for everything in the description that needs to be downloaded for this tutorial so on git for windows you just want to click this download button right here and it's going to download an installer then you just want to open up the installer or just go to downloads and double click it you're gonna get a pop-up that says blah, blah blah you just want to hit yes and then you want to go next and you can select where you want to install it we're just going to install it in the c drive here keep on hitting next just don't change any of these settings you won't need to and bam that's how you're going to install git pretty self-explanatory the next thing we're going to do is install python now python is very similar it's an installer that works the exact same way however there is something i do need to caution you guys with python you're going to notice that when you go to downloads, it's the latest version is going to be Python 3.11.3. You do not want to download this version. Stable Diffusion does not work with this version of Python. So what you want to do is actually go in, click downloads, and then go to all releases. When you tap on that, it will show all the releases. And the one you want to get is Python 3.10.9. You just want to hit download. Then once you hit download, you want to scroll down until you find the Windows in installer 64 bit which is probably what's recommended for you and you just want to click that and that's going to download the installer right here i already have python installed like i said so i'm not going to run the installer but it works the exact same as git you just click it and it's very self-explanatory however there is going to be an option at the end of the installer that's very important you check the box and i'll make sure to put an image of what that looks like this is just going to help you out with pathing problems that some people have issues with down the line this will fix that so make sure you check that box Alrighty, the next thing you want to do is actually make a file on your computer so we're going to do that by going to the file explorer here and then going to our c drive and going to program files and in program files i'm going to create a folder called stable dash fusion then i'm going to open this folder and then i'm going to go in the command line right here so click that and then i'm going to type in cmd now the next thing i'm going to do once the cmd file is open i'm going to go to the git hub link that's going to be linked down below and it's going to be the automatic 11111 stable diffusion github link you want to go to this green button right here that says code you want to click that and you want to hit this copy button that's going to copy this link right here then what you want to do is type into your cmd software git space clone space and then paste in your github link and then you're going to hit enter on your computer now as you guys can see we got this bug here that says uh permission is denied and this is something i see all over the internet and I want to show you how you fix this. So all it means is that the folder in which you want to install Stable Diffusion in, you don't have permissions in. So you can fix this by finding a folder that you do have permissions in. Usually it's going to be in your users folder, most likely in your C drive. So I'm just going to go here and then I'm going to find what my username is. This is going to be whatever your username is. And in this folder, I should have permissions. So I'm going to create another folder called Stable Diffusion once again. And I'm going to open that folder and do the exact same thing. Type in CMD, git clone and paste paste in that link. Now it is going to clone Stable Diffusion. And once this is finished, you're going to find a folder with a bunch of different files where you installed that new folder. So we're going to open up our Stable Diffusion once again. And as you guys can see, we have all these different files inside that folder now, which is perfect. Now, the next thing you want to do is go to this website, which will be linked down in the description, and you need to download your model. Now, the model we're going to be using in today's video is going to be V1.5. 
5 and it will be the link down in the description. However, I should note that there are multiple different models you can choose to use for stable diffusion. I'll also include this website right here, which showcases all the different models and you can choose which one's right for you. Like I said, we're going to be using this one V1.5. However, let's say you have a certain use case you want this for. Let's say you just want to make anime styled photos. Well, anything V3 is probably the model you're going to want to download. Now, I do recommend everyone starts with this model if you're a beginner, just because it's the easiest model in my personal opinion. So we're going to download this. There are two options, but we're going to go with the one that is just way less of a data hassle. As you can see, it's only 4.27 gigabytes. So it's going to take a bit to download as it's a large file. And once that file is done downloading, we're going to copy it to another folder, which I'll show you in one sec. Now, the next thing you want to do is go to that folder that you created, the stable diffusion folder, and you want to open it up. And then you want to go to models and then stable diffusion. In here is where you're going to paste that file that you just downloaded. File is going to be the model and you can even rename the file as model if you choose to. Alrighty, so we're just going to drag that downloaded file right here and we're going to drag it into the models folder as I said and then I'm going to rename it to just model. And we're going to hit enter so now our model is just called model and perfect. Now you just want to back out into the stable diffusion web UI folder and the next thing you want to do is go over to this web UI user file and make sure it's the windows batch file and then you just want to right click that and hit edit and then what you want to do is hit enter so you can put something above the at echo off and you want to type in git pull what this is going to do is automatic update stable diffusion to the latest version so you don't have to manually do that which would be a hassle so we're just going to save that notepad and now it will automatically update all the time now the next thing we're going to do is actually open up that batch file you can do this by just double clicking it and as you can see it pulls that git to make sure it's up to date and it states yes this is up to date and now it is going to install stable diffusion for us this may take a while depending on how slow your computer is I'm using my second PC to record this tutorial. So this probably will take a bit longer just because my second PC isn't as great for doing larger tasks like so. So it's all dependent on how good your PC is, but we're going to wait and come back for this download to be done. But in the meantime, if you guys are having any issues, I know a lot of people find they have errors towards this point in the video. Make sure you guys join my discord, which we link down below and I'll try and answer any of your questions if I'm available. Also, there's other like-minded people in the AI community that are in that discord that can maybe help you out so yeah that will be in the link in the description as well Alrighty, so we just loaded up our web ui user and it is finished installing we have our local url so you just want to copy that and go and paste that into your url so once your stable diffusion is all loaded up and you have it in the chrome browser what you want to do is go to that github link right here and you want to copy that GitHub link. It will be linked down in the description for Sad Talker. Then you want to go over to your Stable Diffusion and you want to find the Extensions tab right here. And in the Extensions tab, you just want to paste in your Git repository that you copied. And you can just leave this empty and you want to hit Install. Now, once you hit Install, if you go to your CMD file right here, you're going to see that it's currently installing. It's at like 12% for me. This may take a while, so I'm going to stop the recording so it goes a little bit faster as I am on my second PC which is a lot slower and whenever I record videos it doesn't install packages as fast. So I'm going to stop the recording and I'll be back once this is done progressing to 100% and our sad talker is installed. Alrighty so what you want to do is go to your command line prompt which can be found going to your stable diffusion folder. I'm going to stable diffusion and then hitting in your command line typing in cmd hinting enter and you're going to get a cmd file like this what you want to type in is pip space install space ffmpeg and you want to hit enter and it's going to install a package like so and once that's installed you are set to go to the next step already the next thing you want to do is go into your folder again and right click the web ui user and here you want to hit edit so you want to 
in the command line arguments you want to type in dash dash disable dash save dash on pickle and you want to save that notepad next you just want to open up your batch file by double clicking here Alrighty. so once it is done setting everything up and installing you can just go and copy and paste your ip that you get right here so just copy that and then paste it into your url and you will get stable diffusion again but this time you'll have sad talker installed so to do anything with sad talker it's pretty easy you can just drag and drop a picture or just upload one so i have this one of this random photo online i found now the next thing you can do is input your audio that you want this photo to be generated in the video so i just found some random audio online and you just upload it into there and then the options and settings you can remove the head motion although i don't necessarily think it looks better when you do that and you can do face enhancement which i highly suggest turning on and then all you have to do is select generate and it will generate your animated talking face as you've seen in the examples i've shown so i hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial on how to install and set up sad talker for stable diffusion automatic 11111 i hope this tutorial is very easy and concise and if you do have any questions please go down into the discord in the description and go and ask me in the general chat and i'll hopefully respond if i have some time later on or whenever you watch this video with that being said i hope you guys have a great rest of your day see you later